Hi folks, welcome to CGC Sawmill. Uh, today we've got a good one for you. We're going to roll this 12 foot uh, white pine onto the mill. We're going to measure it up on both ends and figure out what we can get. I want some 2 by 8s out of it. We're going to figure out how many we can get and I'll go through my process of uh, you know how I think through this or you know how I do it with my Woodland Mills HM130 30 Max mill. And uh, you guys can, uh, you know, comment on it. You can give me feedback, you know, what you think of my thought pattern. Uh, you know, you can definitely give me ideas that you guys have. We can share them and say, hey, you know, if I was doing it, I would have done it this way. Or, you know, someone else may have another idea. And then, you know, it's, it's nothing too complex about how we do these. Uh, probably all, you know, in the end we get the same thing. But maybe we get a, you know, maybe someone shows how to get an extra board out of it, you know. You know, if you can get one or two more boards out of that log at your target wood, then, uh, you know, that may be worth it to some people that are watching. All right, so I'm going to roll this on there, take some measurements, and we'll get right back with you. Okay, so we got our measurements. We rolled the log up on here, lifted it up in there a little bit, and got our measurements. We have 15 inches on this side, and we have 19 inches on this end. But because of the swale, this was the, you know, where it was next to the ground, it definitely expands out. So really, when I measured on the bunk there, it is right around 17 and a half to 18. So what I did is I split that difference and I took, uh, it's a one inch board, but it's really like seven eighths. And I put it underneath this end uh, to be able to get the pith about even on both sides, right? So that uh, when I cut off some on this side, it's gonna be equal to this, what I cut off on this side. And that will kind of keep that even on how we cut, how we, what we mill off on each side. You know, if a perfectly straight log, that would be the case. I mean, this is this one's not bad for straightness, but it's not perfect. One thing is you want to make sure when you do set your log on there that this is not sitting on one of your bunks because that's going to raise this end up and give you weird measurements. So we want to move the log down a little bit so that we're sitting in an area where it's that uh, large uh, growth at the base of the tree isn't sitting on a bunk. So what we have here is we are targeting two by eights. All my two by eights that I have over there are actually one, I cut them at 1.75 off the mill. So I end up with one and five eights and I do the full eight inches on them as well. You can see them that are right in there in the stack. Um, so that's our target wood on this one. Um, I'm figuring, I will get down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down for a ways and then I'll flop it and cut down this way and then I may flop it over again depending on what I have for a measurement across the top of this as far as you know nothing with any bark on it um, so sometimes it takes a little longer because I flop it back and forth 
but what I do is I get down to eight inches here, right? And then I can come back and flop it upright to treat my cant, and I won't have to cut off as much of the bark on both sides, and that'll give me more material to get without any of the bark on it. So what I'm targeting is, is, is 10 and a half here because that will go six times into my 1.75. So if I get a 10 and a half piece by eight piece out of this, um, I will have, I'll get six two by eights out of it or 1.75 by eights out of it. And then I'll get a bunch of bonus wood. So I, I'm targeting over here. I got one by sixes. Um, low on my two by fours as well so i'll be targeting those for bonus wood so this is my thought pattern on cutting this so we'll get to it we'll get cutting this and we'll see how things work out and see if we can get exactly what i was thinking now a lot of people they'll draw up their dimensions on here um that's good take the time to do it usually i don't take the time to do that um a lot of times i don't have the straightest of logs so I you know eyeball it and see what I get and then I'll take some measurements after I make the cuts and adjust from there Okay, so we ran this first cut and uh, shaved off the top bark, and if I look at it, most of it I can make that six inch, at least for eight feet, I can make that six inch mark. So I could cut a one by six out of this. This is probably a little short right there. I may end up with a little bark on that. Um, but I only need an eight foot section of it. So we'll take a a one by six off of this and then we'll flop it over and we'll see what we get on the other side we might be able to pull out a two by eight out of the other side So here's one I did once before is I flipped it over and I was using that one inch uh, piece of wood, one inch thick piece of wood, well it's seven eighths, but it uh, flopped underneath there and I didn't see it and I made my next cut which made everything uneven. So I gotta make sure I pull that out of there. this over and I made my initial cut on this I cut it at 11.75 
that'll give me 3.75 above my 8 so I can take another one inch off of this and maybe another one inch off of here and then maybe get a 2 by 8 out of the bottom side I'm not sure yet I'll look at it but I've got two one bys and a one by eight or two by eight that I can take out of this and then I'll be down to my eight inches here so that's how I calculated that right so I did 11.75 I want to get this down to eight that gives me 3.75 I've got uh, I think two two one bys which will give me three one bys sixes out of this guy and one extra two by eight so I'll end up with seven two by eights and three one by sixes all right let's see how we do So we took that last one by off of there. So we got two one bys off of this side here, and we got one one by off the other side. So now we have 9.75 the distance here. So we will take 1.75 off of here and make a two by well, it's a 1.75 by eight out of this bottom side, and then we will be ready to make our cant, and we'll get some bonus wood off of these these as well on both sides. And we'll get down to that 10.5. That'll give us six more pieces there. We should end up with seven 2x8s out of this log. And then a bunch of bonus wood.
Okay, on this first flop up to make your cant, you want to make sure you're square. I learned the hard way on uh, a couple of my um, logs. I thought I was flush on these stops, and it sure looked like I was. But once I cut it and put it on a square, it's like, oh, that's not square. So I carry that square. I have it hooked up to the ceiling up here. And I can just drop that down. When I do this first one, and make sure there's no air all the way along it, right? So it's nice and square. You know, you usually got to give it a couple kicks one way or the other, and then get it secured in there. And get that that square is important. So, all right. So I raise the laser up so that I can see the line all the way across. And my setting is at 13. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off of there and then I can come down one inch and I can get uh, one by six out of that. Right. So you can see right here I am going to lose you know, a couple, probably two inches so I'll have the six inches on the other side because if you look on the other side we're clean over here. Flop this over to make our final cant. Uh, we want ten and a half, so uh, I definitely have an eleven and a half I can cut at. We'll see what we can get. Uh, we'll cut eleven and a half, and then we'll do our ten and a half. See if we can get another one by out of this.
Okay, so here's what we did. Um, this was a 15 inch butt end. Uh, not butt end, sorry. It was the, the small end was 15 inches, so that's the main one you want to pay attention to. So what we did is first is we took a slab off of there. And then we took a one inch piece off of there. Then we flopped it over. Took a slab off of here. And then we took a one inch piece off of here. And then another one inch piece off of here. And then we can't flopped it back over and we took an inch and 1.75 off of here. And then we turned it up. We knocked this edge off. And then we got a one by out of this. And we flipped it over, knocked that edge off. Got a one by out of that. And we had a 10.5 by 8 left over that we made six pieces out of. So we ended up with another um, two by eight out of this guy. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, one by sixes. So here's a stack of wood. We got seven two by eights and they're 12 foot eight inches long and then we got five of the one by sixes 12.8 inches long we ended up with a little bit of bark on the ends of these uh looks like three of them had a little bit of bark just a little bit of wane uh, so we did pretty good today now of course i had some stickers left over so i'll probably get like I don't have my chainsaw down here with me because it's been raining today, so I didn't bring the ATV down with me. So we'll probably get about 15 stickers out of that. So that's not bad for that one log. And when they're straight, you know, you can get a lot of wood out of them. All right, so I think uh, that will be it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Give me definitely a thumbs up, a like, uh, and give me a subscribe. It's like next I'm going to be stacking all this wood over there. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.